Okay, this is the skinny on tutorial two. Please save it in the end as this old man two. I've made a few changes here since tutorial one. I've um, spread this out a little bit. I'm not going to show you how to do that today. But, uh, but what I do want to do is add these chord labels and insert this line, which actually groups all three lines together. And that's all we need to do for tutorial two today. So actually, if I go back and open tutorial one, which is what you should do, this old man one, starting from here, all you have to do to insert line labels is put your cursor, or this carrot I should say, that flashing one, on the line you want to label and go to view and, excuse me, yeah, view, and down to label selected lines. For those of you that like keyboard shortcuts, you can also do control L. If I click this one, this little window pops up and I can type in my line label. I'm going to use the word chords and hit enter or click OK, then move my cursor down to the treble line and I want to label this one Melody. Label selected lines from the view menu again, view, label selected lines, and type in Melody, Melody and click OK. And down to the next line, um, control down arrow. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut this time. I'm pressing control and the letter L and the window opens up. This last line is going to be our lyrics, L-Y-R-I-C-S, and click OK. So I've labeled all three lines. Now I want to group them. To group them, select the lines you want to group. I'm going to use the Shift key, holding down Shift, and using the up arrow selects this first line where my carrot is flashing. If I go up again, I select the next line, and if I go up again, I select the next line. It's kind of the most convenient way to, uh, to do any selecting. It prevents you from doing any uh, extra clicking and adding of notes or something as well that I know some of you have had trouble with. So the next step, once those lines that you want to group are selected, click on this first icon here. It says underneath insert or edit a line group. And uh, when I click it, this window opens up. I can see the f these three lines are selected. I have a chord line, a treble, and a text line. And there are the line labels that we typed in just a few minutes ago. And click OK. And if I select off of it, I can see that all of those um, lines are grouped. Uh, I noticed a, a, a spelling error up here. Folk tune. There we go. And uh, let me show you one more thing. Once I've grouped these lines together, actually, um, I can put my cursor at the end of the line here and click enter and watch what happens. A new system is automatically entered. Uh, once we've grouped them together like this, we call it a system. So I put my cursor at the end here and hit enter and a whole new system, just like the previous one, uh, was inserted. Yeah. So for the moment, I'm just going to delete that one. Uh, by selecting it in the same way I selected the last thing using the shift and up key. I'm going to cut it and now I'm going to save this one as save as this old man 2. I've already done this once before so there it is. Lauren 7E this old man 2. Say save and off you go. This ends tutorial 2.